Thanks for clicking. Nearly half of Canadians want the Bank of Canada to stop raising interest rates, according to a new poll by Angus Reid. Now just stop it. It upsets me. Even with inflation hitting a 31-year high, 45% of those polled said the Bank of Canada needs to stick with its 1% policy rate and wait to see the effects that has on inflation. With the Bank of Canada already saying that a 1% policy rate is too low and set to raise interest rates at their June and July meetings, the relatively minor interest rate hikes that we've already seen this year are already giving Canadians pause. So what I want to do today is go over the poll, discuss some of the findings on the state of Canadians' finances, and then take a look how the Bank of Canada's decisions are playing out in real time. We'll find out soon enough how high the Bank of Canada's policy rate is going to get as they're set to make their interest rate announcement next week on June 1st. And we'll obviously have updates out on that announcement on this channel. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates. But for now, let's get into this poll. Well, 45% of respondents say they want the Bank of Canada to keep the policy rate at 1%. 27% of respondents want to see the Bank of Canada keep on going. And another 13% want the bank to lower interest rates as a means of propping up the housing market and making sure that investments don't flop. Don't you think you've had enough fun? On first glance, the results of this poll definitely seem contradictory. As we've seen multiple polls over the past few months where Canadians say their number one concern is the inflation rate, is the increased cost of living. However, the poll also shows that 66% of respondents say that debt levels are a source of stress in their lives, with 22% saying that it is a major source of stress in their day-to-day -day life. So while most polls we've spoken about in the past say that cost of living is at the top of mind of Canadians, with Canadians holding record levels of debt, servicing that debt is clearly a big part of that cost of living. And this has always been the major dilemma for the Bank of Canada for the past year or so. With Canadians holding record levels of debt, but our inflation rate at a 31-year high, any rise in the interest rate to get that inflation rate under control was going to cause some short-term pain for the holders of that debt. And this poll definitely bears that out. Canadians are doing what the Bank of Canada wants them to do. They are spending less. The poll shows that 86% of respondents are eating out less, 69% are trimming back on expenses, 66% are driving less, etc, etc. And these reduced expenditures are definitely going to play out in the rest of the economy, with Canadians buying less, with them dining out less, there'll be less demand for restaurants, for inputs, for production, which ultimately is supposed to lead to a reduction in the inflation rate. So we really are seeing in real time in this poll what the Bank of Canada was worried about as it refused to raise interest rates throughout 2021, while it was simultaneously warning about the excessive debt levels being taken on by Canadians. With that said though, with the Bank of Canada delaying interest rate hikes, kicking that can down the road, Canadians now have high inflation, high debt levels, and a high cost of borrowing. As Churchill said, you chose dishonor to avoid war, you got dishonor, and you'll have war. So will the Bank of Canada listen to Canadians and stop the rise in interest rate hikes? I don't think so. We already received news last month that the Bank of Canada was considering reversing course on interest rate hikes should real estate start to plummet, should Canada undergo a real estate crash, which I think they would very well do if absolutely pushed to it. If real estate looked like it was going to crash, I do think the bank would reverse course because if real estate crashes, say 40, 50, 60%, as we saw in 2008, then there's a bank problem, then there's an insurer problem, etc., etc. So I do think that the bank might reverse course if we had an imminent real estate crash. But I don't think we're going to be seeing them reverse course to tame down the cost of borrowing anytime soon, absent a real estate crash. Make no mistake, with Canadians eating out less, with them spending less, this is exactly what the Bank of Canada wanted to happen. They said very explicitly they can't control gas prices, they can't control the war in Ukraine. But raising the policy rate will not fix supply chain disruptions, nor will it lower oil prices. They can control demand, and they're going to control demand. We need higher interest rates to dampen spending growth so that demand does not run significantly ahead of supply. And this poll shows that's exactly what they're doing. People are spending less. And while it will and is causing short-term pain, the Bank of Canada wants to see Canadians spend less. They want to see demand slow. 
This, they think, will help reduce our inflation rate down to at least somewhat man manageable levels. So while the Bank of Canada has said that, that they are not going to be reversing course, and with many observers figuring that they are just going to follow the Fed, the Federal Reserve, who has already said they will raise rates as high as they need to go to get inflation under control, and the bank, saying, the bank of Canada themselves saying inflation is their number one priority, I think it's highly unlikely that they are going to listen to this poll, that they are going to reverse course to reduce that cost of borrowing. With that said, we'll obviously have updates out on the Bank of Canada's decisions going forward. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.